now we are going to discuss about parasympathetolytic drugs okay that is the anticholinergic drugs so there are three categories peripheral nerve blockers nicotine blocker and muscarinic blocker so peripheral nerve blockers include hemicolinium vesamicol and botulinum clear and we've discussed about these drugs in our previous video hemicolinium block your choline uptake vesamicol inhibit your style choline storage and botulinum toxin inhibit the release of style choline it is also named as botox coming to the botox so it is taken from clostridium botulinum bacteria okay and dose which is given is 50 to 300 units root is local root okay and duration of action is two to three months now where we will we use it at indication of this drug so in treatment of wrinkles is very important application of botox in treatment of blepharospasm that is eyelid muscle clear it is also used in treatment of hyperhidrosis that is increased sweating in axilla and hand it is also used in treatment of voice tremors okay we give direct injection in vocal cords in the cases of voice tremor it is also used in cerebral spasticity clear side effects of these drugs are weakness of respiratory muscles weakness of limb muscles here yeah? so we give it this you use this drug in wrinkles blepharospasm hyperhidrosis voice tremors and cerebral spasticity and the side effects are the weakness of the muscles respiratory muscles and limb muscles clear yeah? now coming to the ganglion blockers okay that is nicotinic blocker because we know that ganglia contain any type of receptor so ganglion blockers or nicotine blockers so these drugs mainly target sympathetic ganglia in compared to parasympathetic it will mainly block sympathetic ganglia clear more effective and if sympathetic ganglia will be blocked then decrease bp okay so it can be used for hypertension crisis clear and the drugs are hexamethonium trimethophan and nn blocker okay trick this is a hypertension crisis h for hexamethonium t for trimethophan and n for nn blocker okay and these two drugs are used in crisis or it blocks nn receptor so this is a mnemonics for this clear is also used in case of CNS okay it is used for smoking de-addication the next word is mecamelamine okay it block NN receptor so that nicotine will not bind and it will reduce the nicotine addiction so this drug is mecamelamine okay now we will discuss about muscarinic blockers so we have discussed about ganglion blockers we have discussed about preferred nerve blockers now the main group that is muscarinic blockers so there are two types of drug in muscarinic blockers their drugs are non-specific and specific non-specific means it can block M1 to M5 anyone a specific means either M1 or either M3 so first we will discuss non-specific muscarinic blocker so first that is alkaloid these drugs are mainly alkaloids and two exam two drugs we will discuss here atropine and husky clear so this drug is taken from atropa belladonna and this from hyochemus niger it is also obtain, obtained from natura plant and it is known as deadly night set this said okay and hyacin is also known as escopolamine hyacin is also known as escopolamine clear now atropine has maximaxanone is smooth muscle bronchioles and heart whereas hyoskin has maximaxanone eyes and glands so this is very important okay it has maximaxanone eyes and glands and atropine has maximaxanone is smooth muscle and bronchioles clear now moving to the next point cns effect so in low days in low dose it causes mild cns stimulation followed by depression and in hyoskin it only causes cns depression in low dose clear it causes mild cns stimulation followed by depression and this hyoskin only causes cns depression in low dose clear now in high dose Atropine causes CNS stimulation, that is hallucination or delirium like condition. And in high dose, Hyoskin causes CNS stimulation also. Clear? So, these are the basic differences between your atropine and Hyoskin. Clear? So, this is the main difference that is maximum action of the smooth muscle and bronchioles, atropine, and if maximum action of eye and gland, that is Hyoskin. Now, coming to the pharmacokinetics, as they are alkaloids, so they will be lipid soluble, so they can cross blood brain barrier, so they will be metabolized by liver. Okay? Now, coming to the action action of these alkaloids so first cns so it will block m receptors in better ganglia and substantia nigra and we know normally normally acetylcholine and dopamine normally normal condition acetylcholine and dopamine maintain an equilibrium in our body okay suppose this is acetylcholine this is dopamine this is acting on m receptor this is acting on d2 receptor and it is making balance in your vessel ganglia but suppose if we are giving atropine or hyoskin means we are blocking m means we are blocking acetylcholine action so there will be more action of dopamine clear so there will be overaction that will so if dopamine will be acting more then it can reduce tremors so it is used in treatment of tremors which is helpful in parkinson disease clear so these drugs such as atropine and hair skin are used in to decrease tremors and helpful in parkinson disease clear okay and due to overaction it can also cause psychosis hallucination as side effect clear now these drugs also inhibit your sorry these drugs also inhibit cholinergic discharge from vegetables so it can be used in treatment of motion sickness so the first we have used in parkinson disease the second we can use this in motion sickness as well it is all it can also see it can also use in cns depressant in low dose as we have discussed okay so there will be loss of contact with relative cns depressed okay so it is also known as altered consciousness so it can cause altered consciousness in patients now if we increase the doses 
it can be as local anesthesia if in, we increase dose it local anesthetic activity will increase which means that decrease sensation from sensory nerve okay and if you more increase dose then it start blocking sodium channels here yeah? due to increase dose it is blocking sodium channels so it can be used as lo local anesthesia so we have gone for parkinson disease motion sickness then there will be altered consciousness then there will be local anesthetic activity now the next one effect on cvs so these are the effects on cns and nerves now we will study about cvs so the first cardiac so if empty receptor is blocked then vagal effect will be decreased if vagal effect decreases then sympathetic overactivity will be there okay beta 1 more stimulated so increase in heart rate and increase in cardiac uh, conduction velocity due to over stimulation of sa node there will be increased heart rate and conduction velocity okay now m2 inhibited then at m2 receptors mainly present in atria atria muscles as well as sa node if not like that okay so if sa node if M2 receptors on SN node is inhibited, then these two conditions will be there. And if M2 receptor on atrial muscle will be inhibited, then it will lead to atrial muscle stimulation. Okay. And this is not important clinically unless patient is known cause of atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. Okay. Because mainly force of contraction is decided by your ventricle muscle, and ventricle muscle has no effect on uh, this receptor because vehicle supply is very less to the ventricle muscle. Clear? If we increase dose, then it will block sodium channel. Okay, that will decrease your con con cardiac conduction in ventricular muscle. That can cause heart block, as we have discussed, because it is acting on SA node and AV node. So, so it can cause heart block. Okay. Now one more point. Initial there will be bradycardia, then tachycardia. If you administer atropine, why? This is very important. Action on GIT and then urinary system. So if M1 will be inhibited, then GIT secretion will decrease. That is, AC secretion will decrease, as we have discussed earlier also. If M3 inhibited, then it will decrease glandular secretion. That will cause dry mouth, eyes, skin also decreases exocrine gland secretion okay so leading to decrease absorption of foods now if m3 receptors are blocked then it will decrease your peristalsis okay and that can cause constipation and retention of urine here yeah. now action on glands so all glandular secretion decreases because of the inhibition of m3 receptors okay that will cause dry skin dry eyes and decrease sweating okay now action on bronchioles so if m3 is inhibited then it will lead to relaxation of muscle that is bronchodilation decrease glandular secretion and decrease mucociliary clearance because of the decreased mucus layering clearance there will be increased amount of formation of mucus plug because there is decreased function of mucus layering plug clearance okay and it can lead to alveolar collapse but this is a later complication okay now indications so this is a drug of choice for cholinergic poisoning we are discussing indication of atropine okay so it is used as drug of choice for cholinergic poisoning as you discussed in our previous video it is also a drug of choice for heart block as if M2 is inhibited, then it will increase nodal tissue stimulation that will increase your conduction velocity. So it is used as a heart blocker. It is also used as a drug of choice for sinus bradycardia. Clear? And sinus bradycardia is, is uh, if heartbeat is less than 60 beats per minute plus symptoms or less than 50 beats per minute without symptom, is known as sick sinus syndrome. This is known as sick sinus syndrome. So you can use this drug is this also because if M2 is inhibited, then SA node stimulation will be there, increase heart rate. Okay. This is drug of choice for vagal shock also. So heart, heart block. Sinus bradycardia as well as vagal vagal shock. Clear? Vagal now overactive. Increases your static release, increases M2, decrease heart rate, decrease cardiac velocity, decrease cardiac output. And that will cause decreased blood, brain blood supply and can lead to syncope. Clear? So we use atropine as a drug in case of vagal vagal shock. Clear? To inhibit this M2 receptors. Now it is also used as pre anesthetic medication before surgery as we have discussed. Okay? To reduce glandular secretion. So that there will be very less hindrance in surgical field. Okay? And also decrease bronchial secretion. Okay? So this is used in because of these reasons they are used in anesthesia. Now this drug is also used in non-infective diarrhea. Okay, it will cause M3 receptor blocker that will decrease peristalsis and can lead to uh, get relief from diarrhea. Now the next is myasthenia gravis along with pyridostogmine to prevent ANS side effect in low dose we can give this drug. It is also used in form of eye drop or eye ointment. Okay, if M3 receptor is inhibited then there will be excess of circular muscle and ciliary muscle. So this is used in relaxation of these muscles now patients are suffering from erosyclitis that is inflammation of iris and ciliary body okay that is and because of erosyclitis muscle spasm takes place and that will increase your eye pain clear so we give atropine to relax muscle to reduce that eye pain clear so this is a drug of choice for acute erosyclitis and also maintenance treatment of erosyclitis clear now if there is anti we give anti-inflammatory eye drops plus atropine clear given in this condition that is to prevent complication of redocyclitis. Okay, that is prevention of fibrous adhesion between the anterior surface of lens and iris. We give atropine because of this that region. Okay. Now because iris means inflammation, so we give anti-inflammatory eye drops, and along with that we give atropine to prevent complications. Now it is also used in calculation of refractive error in children because it induces cycloplegia, so we can find the refractive error in children actually. Now coming to the hair skin, so this can be used as drug of choice for motion sickness. Very important, hair skin is used as drug of choice for motion sickness. Clear. 
so it is used for AR sickness, C sickness like that. Okay. Now has skin will block M receptors on vestibule, so decrease the vestibule function. It can also act on CNS. Okay, so induce sleep. So by inducing sleep, it also lead to decrease vestibular action and taken 30 to 45 minutes before journey. Okay, it is taken in the form of oral tablets, so have shorter duration of action, that is 7 to 8 hours. If long journey, then we use a skin patch of this drug has skin. Clear? On posterior auricular skin. Now in low dose, it can depress your CNS that will be losing contact with reality, okay, and speak out everything present in mind. So it is used in narco analysis, okay, truth serum lie detector, but has no legal acceptance nowadays. Okay. Now action on the GIT, so it will relax GIT and lead to relaxed GIT and urinary system muscles. Okay, so can be given in abdominal pain, colicky pain, and dysmenorrhea. Clear. Side effects are as RCM. M1 receptor block, decrease acid secretion, M2 block, decrease in arrhythmia will be there, M3 block, dryness, constipation, retention of urine, increase temperature, and mitosis will be there. Symptoms are the same. Okay. Now, treatment of toxicity. So, in treatment of toxicity and toxicity, we first look for basic life support. ABCD, in previous video, we have discussed about that. Now, we will give antidote, that is physostigmine. IV, we give, we give antidote, physostigmine through IV road. Clear? Then we will give symptomatic relief, antibiotic to prevent infection, cool blanket to prevent hyperthermia. Okay, keep patient in cool, calm place to prevent CNS stimulation. Give anti psychosis if psychosis or hallucination will be there. Clear. So by this way, we will treat atropin toxicity. Clear. Now these drugs are contraindicated in known case of known case of closed angle glaucoma because if it given in the patient of closed angle glaucoma, then it will inhibit M3 receptor, cause mitosis, close hydrocorneal angle that will decrease drainage. Known case of retention urine. Okay, in BPH. M3 will block, bladder will relax and increase retention. So these are the drugs I contraindicated.